In this video, we're going to walk through step-by-step -step how to perform your first backup with Retrospect. In the upper left corner, I click on Backup, and then I click Continue. And then I need to specify the disk or disks that I'd like to protect. In this case, I'm going to select my internal hard drive, and in the bottom half of the window, I can tell Retrospect what types of files I want to protect. In this case, we're going to do all files. And then we're going to go ahead and click Continue, and then click the plus button in the bottom half of the window in order to pick the type of media set that we'd like to use. A media set allows us to choose the type of drive that we're going to use as our backup device. We can choose tape, or disk, which is used for hard drives, removable disk for things like an iomega rev drive, or optical if we were writing to a DVD drive. We can also specify the types of encryption we'd like to use with, re with Retrospect. We can select password only, simple crypt, DES, or advanced level AES 128 or 256-bit encryption. If you decide to use encryption, make sure you don't forget the password because that password cannot be recovered at a later time. Retrospect will also show us the location for the catalog file, which is an index of all the data on our backup. The catalog file is located under Application Support, Retrospect, and then Catalogs. We click Add, and then we have a button over here that says Add Member. This is where we tell Retrospect exactly which disk we'd like to back put our backup onto. So I click Add Member, I select my backup disk, and then I click Add. I then check the backup media set that we'd like to use, and then click Continue. And then, to begin the backup, we click Start Now. We can also go to Preview, and Preview will allow us to pick and choose specific items on the drive that we want to back up, just by checking or unchecking items in the list. So we go through and just check and uncheck what's important to us. In this case, we're going to go ahead and hit Cancel, because we want to do all files. To perform the backup, we just click Start Now. Retrospect will then move over to the Activities, and under the Activities it will show us that Retrospect has started scanning the drive. When it's done scanning the drive, it will then begin copying, and after copying, Retrospect will then do a byte-by-byte -byte verification to see how to make sure your files have been copied correctly. We can also click the Log button over here to see the current progress of the backup or to see if there are any errors that may be occurring during the backup operation. 